What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today it's time for a weekly Q&A session. We're going to be showing some Iron Banner gameplay and answering your questions. So if you enjoy this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. You know the drill by now, we're on Q&A number 18. If you've got a question you would like to see me potentially answer next week, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, and hopefully we can get to it. So this Iron Banner match was pretty fun. I have to say that one of the best characters I enjoy in the Iron Banner, or just in Crucible in general, is always the Gunslinging Hunter. I love the trip mines. I love the young Omkar spine. It's so much fun just throwing the trip mines somewhere, kind of someplace where you'd like to bait the enemy to run into, and then eventually watching them run into it. There's nothing that makes me laugh more in Destiny. <laughs> That's definitely one of my favorite things. Anyway, let's just jump right into the questions. First off, we've got Cam Does Cod asking if I think that the Crucible is finally balanced for the special weapons. Well, not all the special weapons, but the snipers, shotguns, and fusion rifles. And I'll say that in 6v6 game mode, I actually think that it is. I think in 6v6, every type of special weapon has a special place where it can be very, very useful. Now, we're kind of leaving off the sidearms, but he didn't ask about sidearms. So as far as fusion rifles, shotguns, and snipers in 6v6 game modes, absolutely. I think that the fusion rifles are now finally getting their love. They're useful. I have seen them in a number of matches, so I would have to say that they are definitely useful. And sniper rifles, there's nothing that really changed with them. I know that they made some changes to snipers, but nothing that's really truly noticeable. Shotguns have definitely taken a nerf since the beginning. The different type of delays that they put into the animations are definitely noticeable, but it's really not impacting their killing potential overall. It's just making it where sometimes you're going to find yourself locked up where you can't actually fire off your shot, and somebody's going to get the shot off before you. But overall, I'd say in 6v6 game mode, definitely balance. In 3v3, no, definitely not. Sniper rifles are still the unmitigated king. Nothing can compete with them because the desire in 3v3 is to stay as safe as humanly possible. And unless something drastically changes with that, I don't see sniper rifles losing their spot as far as the kings on that. For question number two, we've got a very popular question coming from Clash. And what Clash is asking is a question that I get a lot. Pretty much every single Q&A video, I get somebody asking about if we'll do some type of face review or face cam. And to me, that's kind of interesting because... You know, on Twitch, I can definitely see people wanting to see the faces of whoever is talking or playing the game. On YouTube, it's probably a little bit different because the videos are mostly produced and then put out at a later date, so it's not really live. But I'll also say this. For people that have been around on my YouTube channel pretty much from the beginning, you've seen that I actually have used my actual profile picture as my profile avatar here on YouTube for the YouTube channel. And those of you who are following me on Twitter can see that I actually do have a picture of myself up as my Twitter avatar. So if you are really desperately curious to know, you know, what I look like in general, or at least what I look like in one static picture, you can go ahead over to Twitter and follow me on that. The link down to my Twitter is always in the comment section below. It's casing kit. <laughs> Not too difficult. Next up, we have CTK Gaming coming in with the title question, asking if I'm married and if I might happen to have any children. So if there are any little Casey Kid kids running around, is that what it would be? Casey Kid kids? That seems to make sense. And the answer is actually no. There are no Casey Kid kids that I am aware of anywhere running around. <laughs> not at all. It is just me, one of a kind, and I am not married have never been married either. <laughs> so it's just never been a case where anybody that I was with, it ever really kind of got to that level of being married or legitimately and seriously talking about marriage. Just never kind of been one of those things. I just, you know, I guess I've never run into the quote unquote right girl. Maybe someday, but not right now. And it was kind of funny. One of my friends ended up showing me a picture and I'll just go ahead and put it here. I believe I still have it. So put it right up here on the video. Take a look at this. I could see this potentially being me one day and we'd like to avoid that. So probably the right girl, quote unquote, right girl for me is definitely going to have to be somebody that is okay with gaming because we definitely wouldn't want her to shut down this channel <laughs> by her really not supporting it. And that's definitely one of the things that's really interesting. You'll always want to go after somebody and date somebody, whether it's male or female, somebody that's going to support what you do, what you like doing, and somebody that you definitely get along with 
and are definitely attracted to. All of that stuff kind of goes hand in hand. All of it goes hand in hand. So, no, as of this time, K-Sig Kid is definitely on the market. <laughs> In last week's video, we talked about the fact that I wrestled for a number of years back in high school and junior high, and Justin's following up on that, asking what weight class I was in, and what my favorite takedown was. So, I guess we'll just go around whenever I was a senior in high school, that seems to make things the easiest, because your weight class is definitely going to change as you go through school. And around the senior year, I pretty much varied between 125 to 135 as far as the weight class goes. Every once in a while, I do a 140 pound match but it would really just depend on what the coach ended up setting for the lineup. So I think I actually enjoyed it better whenever I was going against the people that were a bit heavier. I did a little bit more brute force type stuff whenever I was wrestling, but I also like to be really flashy. So as far as a takedown, this isn't a takedown, but whenever I happen to be on top, I would end up using legs. That would be the position that I like to use a lot and put people in the guillotine. I thought that was a lot of fun. One time I even got back points on somebody by doing some type of reverse cradle that pretty much looked like a perfect plex, though obviously did not take him over my head and slam him into the ground like that. No, that is not legal in wrestling, not in real wrestling at least. Um, but I did end up doing something where I spun him around and then kind of bridged up and got some back points there. As far as takedowns, whenever I learned the Bulldog for the first time back in junior high, I ended up using that in my first match after learning it and got a pin in 15 seconds, so that was pretty cool. And I also definitely like the ankle pick, that's always a really good thing. <laughs> so those are probably some of my favorite things. Not to mention the good old head and arm. If I shot in for a single leg and somebody put a wizard in, then just limp arm out, get the nice head and arm combo going right there and go for a pin. Yeah, just some of the cool things, a lot of fun stuff that I can just remember from my wrestling days which sadly are no longer to exist. Next up, we've got the Big JX asking if I would prefer McDonald's or Burger King. This is an interesting question. I think this is kind of one of those things that kind of evolves as you get older. I can remember that whenever I was younger, if we happened to go to a fast food place, chances are we went to McDonald's. And we would get the Happy Meal, my sister and I, we would get a Happy Meal, we would get the toy, though Happy Meals used to come in boxes and everything. Now I think they just come in bags. I don't think that they're really the same type of awesomeness as they were back then. I don't know, I wouldn't have got a Happy Meal at any time. You know, not having kids, it's not like <laughs> I buy a lot of kids meals anywhere whenever I go out. Um, but so yeah, whenever I was younger, it probably would have been McDonald's. I don't really think I could have appreciated Burger King back whenever I was younger. The burger would have tasted different. You know, kids and adults, your taste buds just kind of grow and change as you get older. Now, I would say if I was going to pick between the two, chances are I'd pick Burger King. Chances are I'd pick Burger King. It's just a few more things that I like. I like the taste of them better. If I'm going after the hamburger, I think it just has a better tasting hamburger overall. Though they, of course, all are processed burgers that, you know, they're not exactly the same as you get if you're at home and grilling out or going to a barbecue or anything like that with your buddies. But if I have to pick between the two... I'm gonna pick Burger King. Does this mean that we're getting a Burger King sponsorship on the channel? I think so. <laughs> anyway, for our final question, we've got Marcos asking pretty much what game did I start gaming on? And I mentioned this a long time ago, but you know, we're 18 videos into the Q&A session, so there's probably a lot of new people to it. My first real gaming experience was actually Pong. Pong. My parents owned a home version of Pong, and we'd hook that up to the TV and my sister and I would sit there and there were just these rotating dials on the system. It was pretty much just one console that would plug in and you would sit on one side or the other of this console and you'd have this rotating dial and that's it. That's what we would play. You just move that up and down. We eventually ended up getting an Atari computer, an Atari 800XL. It wasn't the Atari 2600. It was a computer and we would actually play the 2600 games on floppy disk. So that's kind of evolved into that. And then, of course, whenever the Nintendo came out, I started playing that. I've played it all. <laughs> anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, the Taken King, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Did you play Pong?